What's up guys, it's OFWG Silo here, and today I'm going to bring you a Cinema 40 tutorial how to make a custom skin rig. So, first what you would want to do is you would want to open your web browser, and I'm going to try to make this tutorial go by pretty quickly though, but I'm trying to give it as much description and detail as possible so you know what you're doing. And uh, yeah, let's go through this. So, you want to go to... Uh, a uh, website called Nova Skin, if I can spell skin correctly. And uh, what you want to do is whatever skin you want as your rig, you want to find it. So I'm going to find my own skin. And if you type it in correctly, it should pop up. And um, yeah, so now you have your skin. And make sure you take the hat layer off if he has anything on. And then also, what you want to do is, you know, pick the color. It's kind of like, you know, your skin, or supposedly like your skin, and you want to color it in so he has no eyes. Obviously, that's not the right color. That's just an example. But once you got that done, you want to save it, and name, blah, save, and you want to download it. Since I already have one downloaded, I'm going to show you the next step. Now, you should have Cinema 40 already. It should be in a folder kind of like this. Or if you open it, you know, usually if you type it in or sign your desktop already, then open it like that. But I usually do it like this. So let's open Cinema 40, and I will show you guys the next step. So, now what you want to do is, oh, by the way, the rig will be in the description. And when you have the rig, basically what you want to do is you want to open the Cinema 40 folder like this. You want to go to library, browser, and you want to drag that rig in there. Just like that. And then reopen Cinema 40. So, next step. You want to click this little sidebar right here. If you can see it. Right there. So, I'm going to switch between. You just want to click that. Now, you want to click presets. Double click that. Double click the Minecraft Steve rig. And then you want to double click the custom. So down here it should say custom skin over here you want to click this little three um three uh... the little three little dots right there couldn't figure out what to call it alright i kinda want to enable my mouse cursor so you could actually see what i'm clicking so it makes a little bit more sense So down here the custom skin you want to click that and wherever you saved your um your little no eyes thing I already have mine so mine's right here without the hat layer and everything want to press yes and right here you could check second slash hat layer you can check that and uncheck the use arms and the use feet make sure you one check those you have to and basically kind of at this point you can do whatever you want with the uh, rig which I will show you some basics of what you can do with the rig so um basically you have a lot of options down here you can change your pupil colors you can change the size of it uh, of course you can change your teeth color stuff like that you can get rid of the mouth the eyes and stuff um which i you probably do want them you could also add like a sword stuff like that you can add some silly stuff like hats and canes and stuff and capes and you can also add armor which is pretty cool you can change the uh, color of the armor and uh... yeah so let's do some some of the baits some of the basics right now so we're gonna go right here and uh... so this right here kind of change, changes how he's like grinning so this is kinda like a side grin which I feel like the side grin would look more better over here since my mic is kind of covering it. Yeah, it probably look better right there. But, um, so that'd be the side grin. <clears throat> you can make it kind of like that. You can change the eyebrows to make him, like, more fierce, as you can say. So, say, like, that. that's pretty fierce, I guess. And, uh,. Here is kind of the important parts if, you know, however you like turning it, like say like if you turn it like that, it'll render like that. It'll render what it sees. So make sure whichever way you're facing him, that's the way uh, it renders. 
And, um, oh, this is the important part right here, too. This thing right up here, the rotate tool, you m you have to click that in order to uh, move his arms and stuff like that. So here we can just kind of click the blue box, kind of do that. You can move that around, you can do that. You can also press uh, Control Z to undo whatever you just did. So you can move that up, and then you can click this blue box and move kind of his uh, upper hand up, so it will look like that. And you can move it up a little bit more. Also, uh, I don't really like the fingers too much in Cinema 40, so I usually uncheck those. I think they're down here. Yeah, right there. Fingers. I usually uncheck those because I don't like them too much. But, uh, let's see, right here. Uh, so what we're going to do with him is we're going to do a little sideways. I'm gonna make this go up. I'm gonna make this go that way. And basically, he's gonna be holding a sword. And it's gonna be, you know, kind of pointing. Um, so just make sure that you get it in the right angle so it's not like looking really weird. Because it can look extremely weird. So that's twisted. So um, let's move this a little bit up, and let's move that a little bit, and let's do this and see what happens. So. Uh, we're gonna make him hold a sword, uh, which should be right here. And obviously, that looks a little weird, so you're gonna have to fix that. So we wanna move it, and probably because I twisted his arm. Yeah, I thought so. Guess you want to twist his forearm more than his uh. Okay, yeah. There you go. Kind of like that. So that looks about good to me. Uh, we might want to move it back just, just a little bit back. Actually, that's about good. That's about good to me. So, right after that, I'm going to get into the render settings right now. So, I have my own uh, render settings, which I saved as a preset. But I'll show you the uh, settings. as it. So, I have global illumination. Make sure that is unchecked. Uh, you don't want that checked or else it won't render correctly. For the output, uh, the width is 1280 by 720. And basically... Basically like this. And the save. Just the file. You can save it wherever you want. I choose my desktop right there because it's easier. Make sure the format is PNG. And make sure alpha channel is checked. Because then it will make it transparent. If you're going to use it in Photoshop or something. Make it transparent. Uh, the glow. This stuff is just more like it gives them more HD. The way you add it is you press effect. And you know you can add it from here. So add those. I wouldn't add global, global illumination. I don't know why I still have it, but you don't need to add it. And um, uh, that should be about it for the save. So let's see. I would want to save it. Kinda, I would say right about there. So then you press the middle render button. So as you can see. It's more of an HD image to what you saw compared, and now it's done rendering once once it's green. And once you have that, you can exit out of that. And here is your rig that is transparent and it's HD. And it's looking all nice, and you can put in Photoshop. You can put in your channel art. You can put in your profile picture. Whatever you want to do with it is what you want to do with it. 
And that's about it for the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope it helped you at all. Everything that I did talk about and links will be in the description for, like, Nova Skin, for the, uh, for the Steve Rick. I couldn't think of it for some reason. And, uh, stuff like that. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys later. Peace.